Anyway, Donald Trump's on the phone. Uh, let's get him on. I want to hear what he has to say. These are usually pretty interesting conversations with Trump. Uh, let's see. Donald, are you there? Donald. You know, sometimes he hangs up on me when I don't bring him right on. Donald. Donald. Well, hi, Mark. How are you? I'm good. I How hope you? you're having a nice day on Real Talk. Always, Donald. So, Always. I understand you had Cuomo on. Well, by understand, I mean I heard him while I was on hold. Yeah, I... So what's the deal? Well, Donald, I gotta keep it fair and balanced, like you said. No longer all about Trump? Uh, now I... you have to have Cuomo on, too? <laughs> I'm giving you the scoop, Mark. I'm giving you the full scoop. You don't need Cuomo. He's only gonna lead you down the wrong path. How? What, like, in what way is he going to do that? People think he's Did doing Cuomo a good job. Did tell you that he's stockpiling his ventilators? Because he's no. doing that. He's telling the media that I'm not doing anything to help. I'm not lifting a finger. I'm helping this entire country. How about you do your job, buddy? But yeah. Cuomo is just, uh, how is your Cuomover? That's what <laughs> I wanted to ask. How was your Cuomover, Mark? Did you enjoy your Cuomover? Because that's what it is when you have Cuomo on. It's like having a Cuomover. It's the Cuomover. Oh, it's almost like a real politician, but instead we're just going to comb over the politician, the Cuomover, big league. That was hilarious. Did you just think of that? Of course I did, Mark. I'm Donald J. Trump. Don't you know I'm freaking hilarious? <laughs> big league. I am hilarious, Mark. Look, I really appreciate you having me on. I look forward to Thank tomorrow's you. episode. Can't wait. Can't Have wait. Good night. Donald! I'm coming, Melania. Stop yelling. She's always yelling for me, Mark. Anyway, she loves I'll you. see you tomorrow on the next Real Talk, Mark. Mark I'm coming, Melania. Jeez. <laughs> Usually he stays on a little longer, but apparently Melania has his ear tonight. So that's what's going on for today for our two face swaps. And this is what we do every day. I come out with you with a new face swap. I'm just here to try to bring us some light in this dark hour that we're in. It's a very scary time. If you think about it, like... What do you do when all of a sudden you're faced with potential extinction, personal extinction? You know, this is such a scary thing. I'm seeing people, you know, it's one day, a few days later, it's like, what, huh? What happened? It's that bad. And you just don't know how you react. That's the thing. It's, you could be perfectly healthy and it just, your DNA, whatever it is, just connects just right. And you're no longer. So I really want you to stay safe really think the smart thing, the smart play is to follow the directions. Don't do what these mental cases did on my road. Just three days ago, five days ago, whatever it was, walking down the road, holding hands, girl sneezing into the air. I, I'm surprised I didn't see one of them going, let me get some of that sneeze just in case you have coronavirus. Now, you guys have not met Dick Fache yet. He'll be on at some point today. Dick Fache is a vile human being. Do not listen to a word he has to say. Guys, he's trying to get your vote. That's the bottom line with Fache. And you don't vote for him. Michael knows this. If you vote for Fache, you're, it's a vote for tyranny, really. You're like, oh, let's vote for Fache. And then all of a sudden, this whole thing gets a thousand times worse. So just beware, okay? 